Cause your love won't wait. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, baby, I love you way every day. I want to tell you I love you way. Mm -hmm. I want to be with you night and day. All right. Peter Frampton. Boy, did I rock out to him when I was 14 and 15. Oh, I loved Frampton so much. I love revisiting all these old childhood bands that I loved so much. Brings back so many memories. Gosh, the music was just so... What's the word I'm thinking of? So helpful. <laughs> no, it's so redeeming and so powerful. It was a powerful time of music. All right. It's eBay. We're talking eBay here. Sorry. <clears throat> I'm not sorry. My son always says that. I say that too much. You know, my parents were both from Canada and literally the sorry thing is for real because especially my mom, now she was, she, she was, uh, very sweet lady um and but you know we grew up with sorry sorry all the time uh so yeah so sorry uh <laughs> andrea do you say sorry a lot more than most people we're just a sorry bunch here um but canadians say it's not like they're have low self-esteem or anything maybe a little but uh <laughs> It's just polite, you know, it comes across as very polite. They're very, very nice. Canada is a great country with really nice people. Uh, we have two sisters who live up there. And as, when we retire, we're gonna go up and visit more often in beautiful Crow's Nest Pass, Alberta, and, and the really nice city of Lethbridge, Alberta, where we spent all our childhoods. Anyways, okay. I made $134 overnight on eBay. Let's break it down and see what's sold. I sold this. Took a little while to pay on this, but they sold very fast. L.L. Bean Women's Ultra Soft. I just listed them. Sweats. XL Petite Blue Sweatpants Straight Leg. And they sold for... $18 and $7 shipping. I paid three, so they paid 25 and I made 13. And that one, this is the one. Now here is a tale of another one. This one that I've had for a long time. And I just have it on 50% off sale and somebody sent me an offer and I took it. It's just a little J. Jill Linen Woman's Extra Large Petite. I don't have a lot of luck with petite getting quick sales and good prices. I don't know why. Crossover hem tee. So this is crossover hem. Okay, so this here's a term to learn. Crossover hem. And it's kind of nice and long. It's really nice. Uh, she got a good deal. Crossover hem T top sleeve pink, and she paid seven dollars and six dollars shipping for thirteen. I paid too much for this. I think I paid five for that. So I end up after shipping and fees, maybe I make a dollar plus the five back, right? So that's a nice thing if you do pay up for something, and you can be like, yeah, I paid up for it, but I got my money back. That's always nice. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you lose a lot of money, but not much. I don't think I've lost money on many items this was just listed vintage j jill limited i had to look at this tag take a look at this never seen anything like it but i was like it says j jill ltd 2w and uh you know it just looks vintage and i was like is this j jill and i did a little research and sure enough it is it's 100% cotton, machine wash. I'm trying to see where it was made. Made in USA. 
so you can hardly see it but so uh a j jill vintage star print that's another thing that made me pick it up i just thought the print was very interesting half button pockets cotton yeah big pockets cotton bread white and then the 2w is like a 2x so super plus size got some pockets there somewhere um now oh, i'm curious pockets yeah it's got a side pocket 2w yeah so this sold for 27 dollars in a week and seven dollars shipping 34 i paid two it was on one of the 50 percent off sales and uh or some sale i got it at i've been hitting some sales and it's paying off um so they paid 27 plus 7 shipping for 34 and i made 22 on this and this was my best sale it uh sold within a week for full asking price it's vintage ll bean i just know it's vintage because i've seen this style before and i think i've sold it a couple of times it's like a velour velvet with a little bit of a floral embossed they look more like cranberries or something so very christmasy and got cranberry color maroon never really know what to call this maroon burgundy cranberry i guess all of the above i had it maroon vintage yellow bean woman small medium question mark because this measure it says small no wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute there's no tag but why do i have small there i think there was a tag here anyways i have small medium question mark and then i have them look at the measurements for some reason i, I have it labeled a small medium but anyways um this sold for fifty dollars and twelve dollars shipping in a couple of days and I paid five dollars for it and that was another probably half off price so I made 42 so I made 134 gross and 78 net it's pretty good back to my 50 percent margins so I've had 34,142 gross this year and 17,036 woohoo 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 kind of dance better i'm such like an elaine dancer um and i could never be when i used to be in like aerobics classes and stuff i would always be in the back i could never follow the moves um so yes so that's great Seventeen thousand and thirty-six. okay um i think i like doing it i don't know what do you guys like me to do do you like to watch me as i figure out sell-through rates and prices and do you know two or three items that way but real deep dive or would you rather i do that on my own and then go over it the next day with everything that i've found out and do like m more than just a few um let me know or if you like both i can just kind of go back and forth depending on what i feel like <laughs> um somebody asked a question about returns and i basically i think it was do I find I get a lot of, do I get a lot of returns and do I, um, are they people that it seems like they're wearing it and then returning it? No, I don't, I mean, I do do free returns um, just because, I mean, eBay is gonna make you return it anyways. But anyways, I mean, I always think about what I would want as a customer and I was actually thinking about it. Do you know, I don't buy on eBay a lot, honestly. Um, but I buy several times a year and I never look and see if they accept returns. I think I just, I don't know. I don't think about it. Maybe I should. And I, so I don't know if people even do that. Uh, you guys all, and I guess if it's clothing, but I don't know. I bought clothing and I don't think I look. I honestly can't remember ever looking to see if somebody does it or not. So I don't know what that says about uh, me or, but um, 
I do get a lot of returns. Uh, I was getting a lot more, it seemed like, when I was selling kind of uh, the older merchandise. Maybe I just didn't have it listed right or something like that. Um, I don't know. I just feel like people probably, you probably get more, that the problems that you get with returns, maybe they're offset because you're getting more people buying. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but it's not out of control. I got a couple this week, a pair of Uggs boots that didn't fit, a bra that didn't fit. That's the first time I've ever had a bra return though. And I've sold many, 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 many of them. Um, boots get returned a lot of times because the person can't get it up over there like a ug they can't get it up over their um they can't get their foot in basically so i've had several in memory that were returned just for that e that reason maybe don't we don't get boots that are like that anymore um all right well i think i will do some packing here and shipping and um and then I'm gonna probably start I gotta get organized I gotta get organized we haven't had any showings for a while but we do have one tomorrow and um I've really let started letting things go even over in my inventory I'm just throwing it all back there again so I gotta get organized today today's gonna be a day of organization and some listing and I'll see you in the next one like and subscribe, people.